Okay, the next step is to tap threads in these holes. So the first one I'm going to do is where this SO239 connector hooks in. I'm going to tap those holes and it's a 632 thread. So I'm going to chuck this up in the vise. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to put these cushioned feet on here to keep, or cushioned jaws to keep from scratching the edge of this. Okay. It's a little tap handle with a 632 tap. Before I start, put a little oil on it. Okay, and the other thing I want to make sure, oops, before I start, it looks like it's tilting. I want to make sure that I'm perpendicular to the metal. So I'll check it from both sides as I start here. Normally you go in a little bit and back out to break the chip. And I like to be real careful with these, especially on these small taps because they can break pretty easily. Aluminum is pretty soft, but it also tends to gall. It means it sticks. So I'm real careful when I tap these to try to prevent from breaking that tap because if you break it, a lot of times you can't get the tap back out. There it goes. So it's tapped all the way through now. I like to thread it down a little further to make sure the threads are all cleaned out. That one's done. And each time I tap a hole, I like to wipe out the, the little shavings. 632, let's see if it fits. That works pretty good. So I'll go ahead and do the other three. Okay, that piece is done. The next piece is going to be this piece, and it's going to have 1032 threads in it. Get out the 1032 tap. Again, apply a little oil. And try to start it perpendicular. Tell just by the way this cuts, this tap is a little sharper than the other one I use. It's actually nicer. Well, this is a half inch metal, so it's will require a few more turns to get the tap all the way through. But again, turn it a little bit. You can tell when it starts to bind up, back it off, break off that chip, and go forward again. Okay, that's it. 
That's one. I have three more to do. I think I'll do that off camera since it's pretty time consuming. And it's just the same thing repeated. Okay, the last step on these two pieces that will hold the antenna rod is I need to have a groove cut on each side of this so the quarter inch rod can go through it and this can clamp onto it. So I would like to have a semicircle on each side of this to clamp onto it. And the way I can do that is to drill a hole down the center, but if I just drilled a hole down the center and it was a quarter inch like this, it may not tighten up enough. So if I space these out and drill the hole, then I would have some area to clamp with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another piece of metal and put between these two and drill a hole right down the center. This piece of metal is uh, 0 0.075 inches thick. I don't think it really matters that much. You could make, use a different thickness. Just something so that you have a little bit of distance there to allow you clamping room. Okay, so I'll go ahead and clamp those up and in the drill press here and drill a hole right down the center of this shim in the center. And I'll put a center punch right in the center of that. Let me get started. Okay, let's see how that looks. Before I take it apart, I'll show you. Back so you can see it drilled all the way through. Let's take it apart. I'm going to clean off that uh, back side of that hole again with that burr. Now, when I put this together, this can clamp on there like that. Let me go ahead and put some temporary screws in there to show you. So this, this one that goes right through, this one's tapped already. Oops, wrong side. These aren't the real screws I'm going to use. The real screws are um, stainless steel. I want everything to be stainless or aluminum that's up in the air so that it doesn't rust. And okay, now this piece of rod as an example. You can go in you can kind of see it there. There's enough space to allow get a clamp
and have a firm grip on that rod. Okay, we'll go ahead and assemble the bracket assembly now.